Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. How are y'all surviving with the quarantine of 2020? Are you social distancing? Are you isolating? Honey, I'm bored. So, perfect time to make a video. So in this video, I will be using 10 across the board. It is the fan favorite trial kit from the Madam CJ Walker collection. It's currently at Sephora. If you didn't know, um, Sundial Brands, which was the creator of Shea Moisture, they actually own the Madam CJ Walker I don't know if it's the brand, the trademark, the company or whatever, but they currently have hair products labeled with her name. So I got this, especially since, you know, Self Made just came out. I thought it was incredible, an incredibly inspiring story, especially for me who would love to have a hair care line. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this out. Now I'm gonna tell you these names are something crazy. It has the Hella Drenched Hydration Cream Co-Wash the So Extra Drenched Hydration Buttery Conditioner, the Inches Reconstructing Moisture Protein Treatment, and the On Point Game Texture Defining Cream. All right, honey, so let's go and be extra together. Oh, and they gave me this. This the Dream Come True Miracle Deep Moisturizer Mask. Haven't quite decided what I want to use yet, but hey, I need the entertainment. You probably do too. Let's go and get this video started. Hey, child. So I was looking through the products and so when I did the TGIN video, it was a restorative treatment. So I don't want to go too far as far as putting things with protein in my hair. So I'm going to use the Hella whatever co-wash, the Dream Come True moisturizing mask, and the On Point Texture Defining Cream. Now the price of this, honey, Sundial ain't playing no games. I think this box was like $28 for four products that are two ounces each, and this was free. I think it was $28, but the bigger sizes, oh honey, they didn't come to play no games. They really didn't. So let me go ahead and wet my hair. We're gonna get this video started. All right, my hair is washed. Let's get into this package of things. And now I went to the Sephora website to verify what I was getting ready to tell you. As far as the prices go, I'm not gonna lie, this better be amazing because not one item in their collection is under $20 from what I saw today on the Sephora website. They have an eight ounce shampoo that's $20. Everything else ranges from like $22 to $24 per item for like maybe an eight ounce. And to me, that's very, very expensive. So I have very high expectations of this just because the price point of this line is more so higher. So this better give me some higher results, okay? Okay. All right, so let's get into this. This is the Hella Drenched Hydration Cream Co-Wash with Peach Nectar. It's sulfate free, vegan, and cruelty free. I'm seeing everything except for silicone free so to my curly girl method followers if you are ever interested in this line you definitely want to look into that um let's see the directions thoroughly with your hair squeeze a dollop what is what what, what what's a dollop like what squeeze a dollop into your hands use the same amount as any co-wash or shampoo best to start working from the ends to the roots as you slowly detangle, working the cream into the hair with a wide tooth comb or your fingers. Unlike a traditional shampoo, you won't see a lot of suds, but know she's still cleansing away dirt, oil, and pollution as you massage into your hair and scalp and then rinse away with warm water. Okay. It smells really nice. It smells like an orange cream sickle. Hmm. All right, so I'm already expecting no suds. Um, I lightly shampooed before I applied this with the Texture ID shampoo just because I was packed down with wet line. This don't feel like nothing. On my hair, it really does not feel like I apply anything. All right, so I don't wanna rush it, so I'm gonna actually let it sit for like maybe two or three minutes, see if it has any softening effect um right now this doesn't feel like a co-wash at all it doesn't feel like i put anything on my hair i'm actually underwhelmed and for this price point i need to be overwhelmed but okay we shall see let me let this sit for a couple of minutes and then i'll be back okay so i just rinsed out the co-wash i'll be honest with co-washes i'm really not a fan of them anyway but sometimes i do use them between washes if i don't need to really shampoo for me i expect them to 
kind of do it like a little bit of lifting of product a little bit of cleansing but i expect it to be a moisturizing cleanse this feels like i shampooed my hair it doesn't feel like a co-wash at all my hair feels clean but that's not what i'm expecting from that i am underwhelmed with that co-wash and i'll just leave it there so let's go to this dream come true miracle deep moisturizing mask with coconut oil and but I smell this soon as I open this. Okay, so let's see what we're looking like, what we're working with. Oh, she's thick, she's thick. It's a little chalky too. Look like paste, it smells real good. Now I will get them that, this smells good. So let's go ahead, oh, it's real creamy, I like that. Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay. I don't want to judge too soon, so I'm just I'm gonna apply a little bit more in my crown and I'm gonna pull out Samantha and let her do her thing. I have thoughts already. But we'll save that for the end. Okay, so um in applying right now, just like the co-wash, it doesn't feel like I put anything on my hair. This does not um it does not have uh, let me put Samantha on and I'll come back and tell you what I think. Hold on. Y'all, we need our good luck charm and her name is Samantha. So on the count of three, say hey, Samantha. One, two, three. Hey, Samantha. <sighs> Honey, save me, child, because this right here don't feel good. I'm just, I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, I don't like this collection. It feels like they just took Madam CJ Walker's name and used her name as a selling point but the quality of the products don't appear to be there so far but we shall see because i don't want to judge too soon yeah now you know okay so i'll be back in 15 minutes be right back okay so look i just rinsed out my hair right and you see i'm spraying this on right and that is because my hair needs moisture so what i will say about this line so far is i feel like if i was still texturized i would love it but I don't think that it was tailor made with the naturals in mind with me, my hair. My hair, it is curly, but it is a kinky curly. It shrinks up a lot. It's prone to be dry. And so I need a little bit of extra TLC. I need some, you know, formulated and tailor made for me. Pause. But this line, I feel like it's intended for everybody. So it's lacking a lot of the moisture that um, the kinkier or the coarser naturals would like. Or at least that's my experience. I feel like it's okay, but I do not feel like I just rinsed out a deep treatment. I feel like once I put the cap on top of this, my hair will get the moisture and then um, all that I need. But I didn't feel comfortable going in with my wire tooth comb and detangling after I put on that deep treatment mask. It didn't feel like a deep treatment mask at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the cap on, let this sit for about 15 minutes and we shall proceed. Mm. Wait, let me take my little cap off. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this texture ID leave-in had more moisture to me than that that other mess that I just used. So let me go ahead and just wrap this up um, because I could use this styling cream, but realistically, I don't think that's gonna go well either. To wrap this up, first of all, the movie Self Made is incredible. Even if you are not, you know, wanting to be in the hair business, the story of how she fought adversity to be who she is or who she was and create the legacy and following her dreams. I feel like Madam CJ Walker is amazing. The movie was phenomenal to me. I think Octavia Spencer deserved all of the awards. I think her cast was incredible. Blair Underwood is still fine as hell. The movie was incredible, even though it was fictional. What I mean by fictional is they took real life public figures and created a dramatization. Like her arch nemesis in the movie was based off of the real life Annie Malone. And as a St. Louisan, I'm very, very much so in tune with Annie Malone because she even still, God rest her soul, her children's home is still here. Her legacy in St. Louis runs deep. So she's always been a hero of mine. But some of the things in the movie were not they don't align with who she really was. Yeah, and like, I honestly took it personally. Cause I'm like, how you gonna do my Auntie Annie like that? Don't be making her seem like something she wasn't. Annie loved the kids. 
Hey, the movie was incredible. If you have not seen Self Made on Netflix, make sure you watch it. I was very inspired by what I saw. Now, as far as these products go, I think Sundial, like they have done previously, was kind of reaching across the aisle and they didn't necessarily intend for this to be just for the naturals. I get that, hey, business move, whatever. But I can say, honestly, majority of the people that follow me, if you were to use this, I do not think that you would be pleased. I do not like that at all. So much so that I will not go forward and use this on point texture definition grain because I just feel like it would not be good for me. And I honestly am so grateful that I did not reach for the protein treatment because I feel like I would not be happy with that. So yeah, I don't like Madam CJ Walker products. And I know this isn't connected to the original Madam CJ Walker. This is connected to Sundial M. So Sundial M, I don't know who this was for, but it's not for me. And that doesn't mean it's a bad product. I want to say that just because something is not intended for me does not mean it is bad. Just like I love Texture ID, some of y'all out there hate it. I get it, it doesn't mean it's a bad product, it just means it's not for you. Same thing with this. This Madam CJ Walker collection at Sephora is not for me. Sephora has other things that I love, I will continue to shop there. I like them. I just don't like this collection right here, mm -mm, no. <clears throat> Two thumbs down, all right? I'll see y'all next time, bye honey.